the madman. You know me, I'm never one to shy away from a class just because it's got a low win percentage. Let's check out with Elise. I've seen Cobalt Apprentice played a few times, I guess. Womp womp. Two mana, two, three. Actual upside. Mm, these two cards are pretty good. Looks like Acorn is rated higher than Cursed Disciple, I'll believe it. Ooh, new card, Attorney at Mall. Yeah, looks pretty good. Very flexible. Thank you. Uh, looks like I have a mid rangey deck where I'm probably not going to be catching up with a card like Shavar. I will go for the 2 mana 2-3. Two, cool. Druid of the Claw. Cool. Ooh, these cards are actually good. I'll go with natural causes, I think. Orc. Have a lot of twos. Scribe. Good high end, I suppose. We just need some board buffs. It does exist. Ooh, these are both good. Which one's better? We have a lot of twos already. We have, uh, what, four twos? I think for that reason, I prefer the one. It's a Basilisk. I see it, so I should pick it. Eleven roots. Good two drop. I'll pick it. Good combo with Hog Merchant. Crooked Cook could be pretty good in this, uh, looks like a pretty tempo-y deck. Boom. Mm, my only four drops so far. Eh, I'd probably rather have the Fairy Dragon than the Hoarding Drake. Dragon. Just play two Fairy Dragons on turn four, I guess. Meh. Mm, living Mana. That's actually a pretty good card for my deck. Since we want to just get to turn five and then play Living Mana. And then kill him. Alright. We push! We push in. Very tempo. Very well. Plus one, plus three, and taunt for two mana. That uh, seems a little too expensive. Big fungal. Defender of Argus for my aggro tempo deck. Cap with Muck Plumber, I guess. Cap, cap. Have too many twos, don't I? Four, but I have some extras, and I still have 12 picks. Eh, uh, cap. Uh, lacking fours. Seems good. Bogabista. I think the entire deck is minions. There's like three cards that aren't minions, it looks like. It's a good card. See a basilisk. Gain armor to upgrade. Do I have any armor gain? No. But it's still one deal too. And it's not great, but it's okay. And sometimes it's one deal four. After you jump through a few hoops. Another Bogabista. Another Guardian Og Merchant. I'm seeing a lot of the same cards. It's like I'm getting the top neutral cards in a bucket or something. Uh, I think Natural Causes. Yeah, it's just better in general than Maze God. That's a shame. I think I've had Natural Causes go up against Maze Guide twice. And obviously I'd rather have both. Good tempo card. Another Spellstone. Cool, cool. Oh, Marsh Hydra is my big endgame card. <laughs> Look at that score. And final card. Could use one big card at the end. That's nice to get a six drop, a, or a seven. Well, a six drop and a seven drop and an eight drop. So we're not like all in early game, but we're mostly in all early game. And this is actually a pretty good late game card for an aggressive deck because they clear it, they stop the deal with the grubs, the grubs hit face. It's good. I don't know how many ramps, uh, I don't know how many board buffs Druid in this expansion with these sets are supposed to get, but I definitely got none of them. But that may or may not actually be unusual. We got a fairly aggressive deck uh, with quite a lot of one drops and two drops. The spells are all very fast. They are here to deal damage to minions and get them out of the way so my small guys can keep hitting in. Uh, we actually got some finishers, even at 5 mana. Living mana can be considered a finisher. Muck Plumber can be considered a finisher. We got some Bog Beasts to defend the big, uh, the small guys while they go in. And then we just got a random 6 drop, 7 drop, and 8 drop for late game if it makes it there and like my early game didn't 
finish the deed. And all the 6-drop, the 7-drop, and the 8-drop are actually quite good for an aggressive tempo deck because they leave bodies behind. So, and then the Bog Beast as well. So, uh, this deck definitely wants to play the minions and get the repetitive damage in and like kill them with the early game minions. And the spells are there to kill their minions so my minions don't die to their minions. Simple enough. I haven't gotten the chances to uh, play with or have natural causes played against me very often, so I guess this will be the arena run where I get to see the power of natural cause. I mean, it's clearly a strong card in arena. Hello. Why, hello Huh, actual advantage to Fairy Dragon. Can't trade in the 1 and then Fire Blast. Oof. I have trained for days. Actual disadvantage to the Basilisk. The opponent has a 1 drop. What? My dragon was slain. Ridiculous. Ooh, combo. Wait, actual combo. We got some crazy arena interactions going here. <laughs> Fireball. Okay. Hmm, this is interesting. Should I be playing Cobalt Apprentice? Yes, I should be playing it with these two in play, and then I'll hero power if I get one. There's a chance that both die. And then if I somehow miss, I guess I'll natural causes. Yeah. Seems like a fine cause. That's pretty good. Like, one of the best case boards for the apprentice to show up. Two health minions, two of them... Well, I have the mana spare to use the hero power to finish off one of them. It's not just the city of mages. I think I should hero power again here, instead of just sending the two one in to die. Yeah, I've got a lot of uh, things that I want to get hero powered on my side. Could play natural causes. No, I want to play a bunch of... We'll flood the opponent with... One health minion on their turn six. What could go wrong? Step up. Huh. All right. So it's clear that the opponent doesn't actually have a good answer. Two one health minions. I think. As you can see, my innocent. Is... And then play the other one too. Double, triple down on one health minions. The opponent looked like they had a weak turn because they were afraid of Basilisk. Wow. I feel fortunate to have witnessed this. Okay. Ooh! Get mocked! Only get stuck in the 
Yeah, he does have fireball. I guess we're gonna see a fireball. But he also has big cards, which he can't play right now. Got a lot of roots showing here. Oh, hi, Deathborn. It's a good finisher with the Violet Worm. Finish him, worm. What a delightful party. Ah. Hmm. I have to hit the face, unfortunately. Despite the really good trade I can make right now. And this pretty much has to be saved for the uh, two burst damage. Surprise! I probably shouldn't have played the squirrel, come to think of it, because when the violet worm dies, I get all on ones anyways. Good condition to have played a one one. Well, that's that yet. He's been in hand for a while to have a buff. Well, he's got six, eight, ten, twelve, thirteen, seventeen damage on the board, and two top deck. So pretty unlikely that I'm actually dead. I think I just risk. That's right. Just risk. Third power face, yep. Do a damage, blah blah blah, that's it, easy. Amazing. Uh, uh, oh, oh. Okay. Just gotta not play a minion into explosive runes. I feel fortunate to have witnessed this. Run! I will hold them up! Oh, taunt! Ah, oh, taunt! Do I have any fast minions? I have Drew to the Claw, I have Marsh Hydra. Natural causes will also do it for me. Oh, glorious roots! Wow! I think natural cause is a really good card, but having two response cards probably too many. I'm not even sure if I should keep the one response card. Mm, maybe I shouldn't have kept it in my hand. I'm going first after all. Alright, Blood Cell Raider bailing me out. Thank you. It might be a turn 5 living mana for me here. 
and then just go face face to face 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 alternative plays so if I play living man it looks like I'm sending both of these into the bear what what other line do I reasonably have here natural causes hero power squirrel that's actually pretty good I think tiebreaker is that I get to have a squirrel. No squirrel, I possibly take the other one. Mini quest, hero power two more times. Tempo tempo. Eh, it's this into living mana. Makes a lot of sense. Alright. Get mocked. Where you followed. Not surprised. Uh, hero power living mana. Bellstone living mana. That's a tempo deck for you. We're out of resources. I can't win them all. But it's enough. Hmm. 3-drop pretty good, especially against Hunter. What are my chances of getting a 2-drop? 3-drop, I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 3 drops. Eh, full toss. Oof. Good 1-drop. Come on, Raider. Oh, jeez. I'm gonna need to top deck a 2-drop? Into top decking a 3-drop? Into top decking a 4-drop? Oh, that's pretty rough. Good luck, me. If I do get that, though, I'll be set. The exit is this way. Okay, so far so good. Basically, a two drop. Could have been natural causes, which would have been insane. Oh, this doesn't actually uh, help. Boo. I'm getting buffed by the Fedra staff. I haven't seen this in forever. My compliments. To the ship. So where does the magic come from? Ah, oh, the card's so good for the cost. Ah, oh, stupid maze guide spring pop. How curious. Wow. I think I have to play a 5 mana to remove that stupid thing. I have to do my stupid 2-2 two -two into 2-1 two trade. Stupid, 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 stupid. What a tragedy! Better write this down. I was like, wow, that was pretty good. This isn't even upgraded. We shall end this disturbance. Woo!
Ooh. Huh. So the opponent's got eight. I would go down to ten. Eight if the opponent hit me. Should I trade? I suppose. Blah. Do you trade? Yes. Strike back. Mm. Too strong. Just don't kill it. Ugh, two three threes for two men. Let's go. Wait, that's lethal. <laughs> okay. Call the ambulance, but not for me. Three drop, very good. I have enough two drops that I think I can count on getting one of mulliganing three cards. Let's see, natural causes, natural causes, fairy, cook, brawler, raider, not counting maul, informant. So seven of them. Seven's a lot, and I can coin out orc. So if I get three three, that also counts as good. That's fine. Ugh. But the dredger staff buffs are good. Come on. Uh, uh. For the roast, my lord. This hand makes me strongly not want to coin out orc, because I really want to coin out Bogabista. I will do it that way. It's Terron Spider Tank. Reporting for duty. Oh? Oh. Not enough health restored. Still a good health restoration target. Quest lines at the same time. <laughs> That's a quest line. Okay. I'm actually quite incentivized to use my hero power, so I'll do it. I'm on a quest line. Da 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 da
The opponent played this, which indicates that it's actually very vulnerable to this. But I can't really deal with that card, so I'm gonna just silence, I guess. I could spell stone, but I really want to uh, put him in the muck. Guilty! Mark Palmer has been surprisingly good. I had different uh, plans in my mind based on how many missiles hit with Apprentice. There are a lot of branching paths there. I think that's lethal. With that, it's definitely lethal. Okay, Tempo Deck's doing what Tempo Deck was planned to do. It's nice when that works out. Ooh, what a strong hand. Uh, I'd rather get a 3-drop than that, though. Ooh, what a strong hand. Two, two? Hmm. Opponent like candle? What? Pa pass? <laughs> What's going on? Pass? Your play was so bad that my play is a lot worse because your play was that bad. Are you brilliant? Huh. Again, this Og Merchant play is so strong, but it's less good because the opponent isn't playing an amazing card. Uh, I think I'd rather keep this guy with the Vine Shield. So we'll just preempt this, we'll trade this guy away. Gonna turn 5 my living mana. Let's go. Copy a random card from the opponent's hand. I'm thinking about if I want them to have the living mana. Yes, I'd want that to be included in the RNG. Alright, let's go. Okay. Okay. Got our finisher.
Bah! I'm always playing Worm here, right? 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Maybe not. 2, 4, 5, 6. No, 2, 4, 5, 6. 3, 4. No, send them both here. I hear a power of the second one, of course. Feels like I should trade because Violet Worm is kind of a big die. Yep. I mean, needs a lot of space. Gotta get rid of these guys. Give the worm some space. A surprisingly easy win. What was he hiding back here? It is finished. You win. We've seen a fair amount of opponents turn one the Guardian Og Merchant. This might be the game to do it in. I really don't want to. Ooh, is this the game? I don't have anything for a while that I can... Alright. Hit it! Probably. I always snickered when my opponent did this. I mean, it's not a great play. But it's probably better than passing. And I have the very specific deck that encourages one mana two one. Big shot point at him. <laughs> I don't really like leaving the basilisk on the board with the one one, but But it is what it is. My shield for Easy. Oh. Oh. Let us oh. Dance okay. The away. Oh. Ah, not enough health. Three damage taken. I play living man. I've got five two twos and a two one. If I go the natural cause spellstone route. Shadow Waltz is inside. Each gains a death rattle to cast your last shadow spell. Oh, that's... <laughs> that would be game. Another 
the dark. Twenty worth of extra stats. That's tough to overcome in arena, isn't it? Okay. I feel fortunate to have witnessed this. Victory is yours. Huh. Okay. What's a spicy hand? My opening hand costs three mana. Hey, Five with the draw. That? Whoa, that's some tempo there. Okay. It'll be I'm warning you. I'm unstable. Pretty big incentive to play the quick and just go face here. Yep. And then I guess like merchant the one one. Like merchant the one one first. Yep. Don't want a crook getting damaged. Nope. Come in time. One there, Og merchant. Into cook. Probably. All right. Will this be a runaway cook game? I played uh, basically mana tied totem on turn three here with a pretty big board, with a winning board. My shield for Block for cook. And then time to muck it up. Wow, strong turn four there. Just kidding. What's happening with people's curves this game? You have legendary skill, my friend. Definitely a better order to do this in. I'm just thinking about the right order. I'm pretty sure it's Raider first. So many contradictions. Yeah. And then I play play the Brawler with the higher health next turn. The food is getting cold. For the roast, my lord. Step up. Pre hit. Yes. And I got all my high end here in my hand. Dark one snaps all. Stand the time run low. That one actually required quite a lot of thought. Basically, I can get rid of this if I want to. And I can take some combination of damage on this. And I decided on this iteration. I thought it's uh, better to keep the batty guest. It's just a 1-1. One -one. And it's too much work to clear the bat.
That's a five mana hero power turn if I decide to hero power. So many contradictions. Can either hero power. And then have a 4-1 and a 2-2. Or I can play Defender of Argus. And have a 3-3, three, three, a 3-1, three, and a 5-1 equivalent. My seal for Argus! Seven one, if I. Hmm. Get knocked down. <sighs> Tidebreaker was this actually gets buffed by two. There's a lot of like really narrow, close decisions that I'm making here. That sucked for me. But using the hero power is fine. Alright. 7 1 apparently has no counter. Get him! It's also lethal, but we had to break his spirit. Stupid demon hunter hero power. Stupid, 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 stupid. Here we go. Every single one of my plays, well, except that two drop, is weak to the Demon Hunter hero power. Those without eyes truly see. You ruined my pot. A food. Time for the finishing touch. Mushroom power. Killing the treants. Trying to mana star me. Yum. Okay, how do I want to do this? Trade all? And hero power? Welcome to Hydra Wormland. I hope he plays one big health low attack minion. What a tragedy. Nope. Hmm. Where shall I strike? That's a really good Marsh Hydra target. 
Uh, I mean, it's not... Maybe I should get Violet Worm here. Interesting. The problem with Marsh Hydra is I kill that thing and I have a 7-1, so one scroll just kills that. If I play Violet Worm... How curious. It's pretty hard to kill this. And then the Marsh Hydra can keep getting a million. Well, it's a bit of a risk. So the Marsh Hydras, there are no blades, but yeah, if the opponent has like a hard removal for Worm, this will really suck for me. But if they don't, this is a really good play for me. And I felt like if I played the Hydra, I'm behind. So this is the higher risk move here, I suppose. Not bad. I get the worms. Grub, 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 grub. The opponent just summoned a slightly less good minion from Dinner Performer. If the opponent just didn't randomly generate a Priestess of Fury from Netherwalker. Oh well. When I resummon Marsh Hydra, everything will be good. Or Violet Worm. That's a creepy painting. I'm not even mad. I'm impressed. Doomsayer! I feel fortunate to have witnessed this. You are an interesting foe. Okay. So many contradictions. <laughs> You are an interesting I foe. I feel fortunate to have witnessed this. The opponent, this. I feel like I've played against this player before. And I might have even made this joke before. But I don't remember taking it this far. That's right, I didn't keep natural causes in my opening hand if you're just tuning in now. It's like, what am I going to do with natural causes on this turn? Drink with me, friend. As the peanut crowd shouts out, you know what to do. With natural causes on turn two. Anyone else notice Trump's chest has a big hole through him? Uh, as you may or may not know. Leech apparently is back, so I'm role playing a hollow. I actually have no idea what that new show is about. 
Just bleach stuff, I imagine. This is a rare case where I'm playing Bog Beast over a Centric Scrub. But this sure looks very, very good against that board. Ugh. Hero power, go down to 13. Play Living Mana? If I use the Hero Power, I can only play one of these cards. If I play Aug Merchant, I can only play one of these cards. The card could be a Centric Scribe. Eh, I think I'll go Scribe, sure. Yeah, my poor aggro deck. It's been playing defensive this whole time. Is someone injured? I don't think it's moving the goalpost at this point to say, Hey, this druid deck made it to seven wins. Very good job. Way to go, druid. Everyone, round of applause to this druid making it to seven wins. Great result. Wait. Maybe I have bonus option? How many 10 mana cards do you have? Oh no. What the? Let's turn 9 pass, right? Oh man. Uh-oh. I can see that I have the clear for it, but I don't actually need the mana. So therefore... So close to salvation. You have legendary skill, my friend. There's a lot of hope they get through. I did the speech ahead of time. Good job. If you ever are forced to pick Druid, you know, 7-1's pretty good. <laughs>